important because uh, usually people with special needs, uh, when you're going out and about, if you're in a family setting, it's uh, easier to get them changed and you could, you could plan your day better. Uh, yeah. People say disabled toilets and you go in and you think, my goodness, I can't even get the wheelchair in. Mm. So the changing places is definitely the, the way forward for everything. It's extremely difficult. It really is, especially now that our daughter's moved on to supported accommodation. And she's living independently of us now and carers have a, a real problem because they are guided by health and safety, moving and handling and it's it has to be a safeguard person and also to, to safeguard like themselves. It's like now they're changing places and you can actually go on and it tells you all the places. Centers Shopping centres is a big thing because yeah. although Dundee's pretty well you know, they have a few in Dundee. Yeah. I think the fact that they're not within the trust and, and centres mm -hmm. like that, definitely. Mm -hmm. Hospitals, uh, definitely. leisure places. You would think that would be one of the first places the hospital yeah. would. Yeah, uh -huh. Hope. I think now Nine Wells does, does have one. Well, well, it works. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, and that's that's the big thing as well, keeping it maintained. Mm -hmm. You know, just leaving the uh, uh, centre bus stations and airports, there should be something in there because mm -hmm. if yeah. you go on a journey, mm -hmm. yeah. that's yeah. one of the priorities. It sort of restricts your life to a degree if, if, if it's not there. You have to really, you know, weigh up the, yeah. the situation for the day. Mm -hmm. There's people that have maybe got a condition like spina bifida mm -hmm. or you know, it's not necessarily profound in multiple dis yeah. disabilities that have been catered for. It's, it's across the board, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think if they got that right in the first instance, that they've catered for umpteen catered disabilities. For me, to leave a concert to go and get changed and come back. Yeah. What kind of experience you want to go to the coast, you go to like St Andrews and Anstruther. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But you've got to plan your day to say, right, okay, we'll make a change at home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like for lane to be comfortable and then you plan your day to come back within a couple of hours because mm -hmm. you maybe need to change again so but my main role is to well i answer queries any queries families um, email or telephone or facebook or anything like that so a huge range of queries we were set a target by the new scottish government learning disability strategy the keys to life um, recommendation 44 of the Keys to Life is to reach a target of 100 change places toilets in Scotland by 2015, which we did in 2014, <laughs> and Murrayfield was our 100th toilet, which we opened in December 2014. The change, well, we consulted with families, and families were saying they couldn't go out for the day. And, um, because there was nowhere to change their son or daughter and that has a, a knock-on effect on siblings because that meant they were missing out on going to the zoo or to, you know, where a seaside or on holiday. If you can't go out for longer than two or three hours, mm. it affects everybody if you've got to rush home to change somebody. Yeah. And I think it's something that the general public just don't, it doesn't cross their minds. Mm. I mean. I'm, before I worked here, I never thought about disabled toilets in any shape or form. So mm. I think, it, and it's quite a good campaign because people, once you explain it to them, they can get, they can see, see it. You know, they can understand. So um, that particular family are putting on another cycle tour of, of, of Angus in the summer. So if you fancy cycling around, <laughs> cycling around all the change places toilets and we'll try and get publicity to and raise awareness.